Afternoon, I'm Don Smith, Raw Energy Materials. We have a little non-scientific fun here. In this one, I have our Velasa polymer, which is a nothing to do with Portland whatsoever. It's, it congeals with an algae enzyme. This is really fine grade of Portland cement. It will go from a feather edge to maybe four inches is what it's really designed for. Both these are going to go off very quickly. This is about optimized, um, very expensive Portland. And this is our standard pothole mix. We can go from uh, eight minutes is what this is set for, to from about three minutes to 26 hours. This one's going to go off in probably about six minutes is what it's been doing. It's probably uh, 70 degrees out here right now. This material you can't set off much below, realistically, about 40. This one can go all the way down to freezing. It's going to use half the water that one is. The first thing I'm going to do is put a few rock staples in each one of them. And normally we would put about 10 pounds per cubic yard of rock staples. We can go, go as much as uh, 160 pounds. Uh, you, you might want to do that if you were doing something that had uh, no rebar in it and it needed to be structural. The, the, I'm going to mix this up and you'll, well, I want to, it's really hard to, to see what's happening. We're mixing the fibers in. This is really tough to mix. You can see that you can see the piece of rock rebar and you can see it chattering as I try to mix it. The glass of polymer. I'm just got some rocks in this too. This is real easy. It's, it's powdery. Mixes real easily by comparison to the Portland. It just flows even for, for, for a powder. It can blow away when it flows. And you'll notice that the rock staples blended right in there. Really no issue whatsoever. Over here, rock staples are very, very good at mixing in anything, but they do mix better in the glass of polymer than the than the Portland. Okay, the next fun thing is, is the water situation. Normally you should put, in fact I think I better do this or it's just not going to mix. Portland needs to have the, the, the water in the a tiny bit more Portland left in there in the bucket first or it's just not going to mix. I'll try to do both of these things simultaneously so you can see how much better or easier the glass of polymer mixes. Um, not, again, not scientific. I'm just going to throw some water in both of them and mix like crazy and see what happens. Dump this back in here now with the water on top of it. You can pour it to, in, in freezing weather, and it'll have to set before it can freeze. It's also this one's cool. This, I wish I had a thermal gun right now. This one's about the heat temperature of a cup of coffee. You really, it's it's plenty warm, or at least hot chocolate. Okay. Also, both of these were designed for, or supposed to be for, our, our uh, like group patch potholes. So I'll stick some rock in there so that when we break it open later, we can see what it did, how well it attached. The Velasa polymer is going to get a covalent bond grip on that rock. Okay. Portland. Watch what happens if you mess. But I'm going to walk out to a wall 
this isn't nearly as supportive. Yeah, that one, look at this. It's already, it's already kicked to where I can move it. Give the Portland a chance here. Yep. I'll have to block it. Okay, come out to this wall. I've got two little bits of velocipolymer and top quality Portland that are left from a compression test we just did. A couple of cups of, of uh, maybe a cup of each. I'm going to put it around on the end of this old broken out wall and later on we'll come back and chip on it and show you the difference. The Portland um, is what came in a bag, you know, pre-mixed commercially. Um, it's about four times more expensive than the Velasopolymer, which is 3% uh, of the, of the geo additive that sets it off and then you can use 50% of the old rock and stuff that was pulled out of a pothole. Nice to have a metal trial, but make do. Notice it stays real easy. Okay, this, this is our Portland. Um, there's no way that this is that this is going to adhere. Can you come around the corner? I'll put it on. It's it's uh, put it right up to the side of the other one. It wants to sag a lot more. It was a little thinner. All right, we'll check them both later on to see about their adhesion. Watch the buckets out. This is back out now where we poured the leftover um, Portland, top grade Portland, and our Velasco polymer. I'm just gonna, it's been about, I'd say, th let's see, look at 29, 31 minutes. All right, 31 minutes, it easily scratches, easily scratches. So we're, we're, we're in the same general area uh, of hardness at this point. By the way, this Portland right, that I'm messing with is about four times more expensive than this one. Even we'll wait and see what happens here. Okay, we're almost exactly 48 hours after this was applied. I'm just going to, just for the fun of it, just beat on them a little bit. Pretty good. Cracked off. Off. They're just just so nearly the same, yet the yeah you know, the cost is so low. Here we here we have put uh, leftovers from from a pothole, remixed 50% uh, scrap material into it, so it's a lot less expensive uh, to to use the last a polymer reinforced with the, uh, rock rock staples than it is to use the Portland. And we did put rock staples in the Portland also. It just dusts off. Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. They're they're com they're compatible materials. I walked back back out here to the, our corner where I put the high end Portland with ad packages and the Blasso polymer. Both of them have rock staples. Both of them were put on just a really crude corner. There was no prep to the area at all. No no adhesion packages other than what came in the uh, Portland. Um, I pressure washed it with a 3500 PSI pressure washer. You can see where it cleaned it around here. You can see underneath it how dirty it was 
when the, the lasso polymer was applied. See a little bit of a, of a rock staple right there. Some rock staples hanging off the end. That's what's holding that together so well. All this aggregate is left over from a pothole. It was 50% regrind uh, stuff we pulled out of a pothole in the parking lot. It had asphalt in it. The, the Portland you know, held together against the pressure washer at least as well as you'd expect it to. You can see uh, the rock staples have been exposed by the pressure washer. The interesting thing is Portland shrinks and it's already pulled away from that area in, in, in shrinkage and it chipped out around the, around the pole a little bit. Um, this is about four times more expensive than using the Velasa polymer and I'd like to point out that this material because it uses 50% less water during the, the mixing and still mixes easier than, than the Portland. You can pour this all the way down to, you know, to 32 or to freezing temperatures. It gives you a lot more latitude. It sets up, in, these, these set up in about eight minutes and you could have driven on the Velasa polymer in about three hours. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't film that, I'll do another one. You saw me scratch it at the, uh, I think it was the 30 minute level. Uh, they were actually, both of them probably could have taken some weight. As I said, this is a, a real fast setting, high-end um, uh, Portland. And the, the lasso polymer, which is a green, sustainable material. It's no kin to Portland in any way. It's made with just boiling temperature waters instead of 2,500 degrees for five hours like clinker.